it's all being young. Right. Everyone has their own faith, right? You can't blame yourself. I should never have abandoned him. I'm the one to blame. It's not your fault. How could I fail to recognize Lu Wan? There must be something I can do to bring him back, right? The world needs a rewinder. Please, if I can't save Jung today, I'll regret it for all of eternity. Right? Please, tell me how to save him. Rewinders may, own, may be able to bend time, but no mortal can transcend the laws of the reincarnation cycle. There is no way to change one's fate without the ultimate price. Price? So you mean I could exchange my life for his, right? It is my debt, I owe them. Him and his father both. I'll come back to words. Can I repeat this with Young? It is my obligation to Master Mount. Oh, so you are always uh, hoping for rain then, huh, the warriors? Hmm? There is a ritual that could resurrect him. However, the price is not only death, but total oblivion. You'll be erased from the book of life and death. No rewinding or spell can undo that. All memory of you will be eradicated. It will be worth it. When month left, I already lost my purpose. I just wanted to go with him. When he asked me to look after his son, Jan became my only bond to this world. At first, it only felt like a long-term task that I was given. But being Jan's guardian has become my life. I won't just sit and watch him lie lifelessly before me. I may not be able to be his companion ever again, but I trust he will find his own way. Just tell me what is required for the ritual. I've made up my mind. Let's not waste any more time. Fine, tell him. Mr. White and I shall inform Lord Yama now. Okay, we need four items. One for each aspect of life. Body, soul, yin and yang. For body we can use a hibiscus flower. For soul we should try to find soul wine. Beginning we need a hair from a yin woman. And for yang we need a feather from a yang bird. Feather of yang. Ah, fate has a funny way of intervening, doesn't it? It is. It's the feather of bee fang. That works. Now we only need three more ingredients. We need to gather them before the soul dissipates. Quarter to twelve. Yes, quarter to twelve is when the souls gather tonight. This is the best time for our ritual. If we allow this moment to pass, we will lose it. It's better to host the ritual somewhere his soul feels is familiar. Understood. You guys bring him to Jan's home. we we'll catch up with you there after I collect everything. But I take this note to Oxhead and Horseface inside the ghost market. They will aid you. Thank you, everyone. I'm truly grateful for your help. I will prepare the ritual. Okay. Horse face junior, welcome. Ghost smoking is now open. Masters, I'm here to collect some materials from Mr. Black and Mr. White. Here's the list. Let me see. Tall wine should be easy to find, just ask the winemaker. Hibiscus flower. You can ask the mushroom spirit, the herb merchants over here, over there. Here's everything, but be careful dealing with her. She's a slippery one. <laughs> They're on the east side of the market. Jin, woman's here. Hmm. And the old oak said, you forgot about that young girl? Oh yes, the old horse has a good memory. Did the girl over there? The one crying? She was marked pure yin with her time of birth. 
make it difficult for her to enter the cycle. That's why she's stuck here in the market. We must guard the entrance to the nether bridge here, so we cannot leave. But feel free to ask us any question about the ghost market, we know everything around her. Thanks. Have a touching tale, a love story between a scholar and a flower spirit. Care to listen? Sure. During the tail end of the Song Dynasty, there was a poor scholar. Day after day, he studied tirelessly in his cottage. The bookish man tended a morning glory plant in his front yard. With every setting sun, he watered the buds, but they would never bloom. One night, the scholar was up late in his study when he heard a strange noise outside. He decided to take a look. It was the night of the new moon, and as such too dark to see it. He went back inside to fetch a candlestick. Under the flickering light he saw a charming lady in purple outside his door. Her face did delicate like the petals of a lotus, her lips plum like sweet cherries. He turned to him and smiled. The scholar was engulfed in her beauty, but before he could approach the maiden she was gone. He looked down in disappointment, but was surprised to see that his morning glory had finally bloomed. The scholar sat by his window every night for months, but the lady never came back. But since then, every night of the new moon, the morning glory blooms in full. One evening, another night of the new moon, the scholar fell asleep by the window in wait. Suddenly, he was awoken by that same strange sound. Well, that's all for today. Come back next time if you want to hear the rest. How did you stop there? Can you tell me the ending? Not that I don't want to tell you the rest, the time simply hasn't come yet. Promise must wait for a good rain, the scholar must wait for his morning glory flower to bloom. Tell me what good things ever come, come without patience. But worry not youngsters, something tells me I'll be able to finish the story for you when you come back next time. It won't be a next time. Sorry, what did you say? Nothing, that's okay I guess, thank you for the half story. Okay. Herb merchant. Hey, come and see the greatest herb selection in the underworld. You name it. We got it. Do you carry the hibiscus flower? Ah, uh, you sure know how to pick it. For the queens. This here hibiscus is our most treasured herb. Most treasured? Of course, it took a lot of effort to steal. Um, I mean, acquire. It's got a hefty price tag. Just name the terms. It depends on what you can afford, kid. You accept the exchange of goods only. You want the most prized flower in my shop? Fine, but you need to get me something worth equal value. Hmm. You don't look like you would have anything worthwhile. Come, let me sniff you. What? Don't worry, dear. Come a bit closer. <laughs> Nothing to swear, sweetheart. Let me see. I can smell soil, tear, smoke from cooking, taste of the human world. Useless. Oh, I smell blood, trail, guilt, death. Boring. You. What? Interesting. What is this? Greed. Envy, loading, the most poisonous venom in the world. That's it. <laughs> I want that. You want what? Some sort of venom? <laughs> what a clever kid. Yes, if you fetch me that venom, my smell, you can have my hibiscus flower. Okay. If you can answer my question, this flower is yours. Under which moon will this flower bloom? First moon. Incorrect. The cold moon. Wrong! I don't know, give up. Ever try burning the incense in front of the Buddha statue? 
Yeah, it smells god awful. I don't know who put it there. Last time I lit it, everyone around started coughing. Wrong! It's all wrong! You have some soul wine? Oh, of co course. Burp. I have everything. Everything but truly good wine, that is. Can I have the soul wine? Nope. Why? Don't sell it no more. Why? I can see you have it right there. It's really an embarrassing burp story. You see, I recently came into possession of a very rare, very precious jar of liquor. Only after I drank it did I realize all the wines and liquors are made before we're just rash. Can I help you dispose of them? I thought about it. Throwing it all away, but I just can't bring myself to do it. But if I can never make anything better, then this pile of trash would be my greatest work. What's your plan then? He's a pushy kid. I have a plan. It occurred to me. The reason I can't make truly fine wine must be my lack of truly special ingredients. <coughs> you see, great wine requires great water. Ordinary liquid like spring water or melted snow simply won't do. What I'm about to make, I need the most special water in the world. Or you could say the most special soup. You want Lady Meng soup? That's right. This is the only way I can distinguish myself as a master. Uh, wouldn't it erase people's memories? Of course. Why else do we call alcohol the eraser of sorrow? <laughs> That's a good one. Also, don't worry. I promise. I'll just put in a little bit. Burr. If I bring you Lady Ming soup, would you promise to give me the soul wine? Yes, of course. I'll give you anything for it. Hey, okay, I'll ask. Youngster, I have uh, an opportunity for you to earn some money. Are you interested? Mm, okay. Death will always turn everyone funds, won't break the fall. Fame and power all renounced. The only money here that counts. Come as paper gold ingots. Every ghost needs it in the death. Allow me to give you a reading, free of charge. Okay, go ahead. Okay, let's see. Wow, I'm perceiving the w one diagram. This is a sign of great wealth. But how will this unfold? I must look deeper. Dragon on land, dragon in the sky. This means you will meet a great benefactor. Do you want to know how? Sure. Ah, this leaves are sealed. Our seers are punished by Tao for revealing fate secrets. Therefore, we must charge a price. Let's say one paper gold ingot. What a bargain. Here. Thanks. You see? The great benefactor is me. I'm the one who will show you this suspic auspicious path. How to make a fortune. The thing is to make money is to work hard. Lightning, right? Thank you for the gold. You fraud. Ah, you unsatisfied? But I maintain a 100% positive review rating all these years. How about this? I'll give you another prophecy for free. No thanks. Please, I insist. I'll say this once, so listen carefully. A mortal and his guiding light may find themselves in times of plight. But like the setting of the sun, your partner's work is far from done. How did you? How did I what? Oh, what's that prophecy? I never heard it before. Oh, just a flash of inspiration. What else do you know? Nothing. I'm just a fraud after all. Aren't you in a hurry for something, little one? Be cased. I miss your chance to make a fortune here. One paper gold piece might change your life. Hey, you wanna bet? No thanks, I'm busy. Ryan, excuse me? I want the sugar figure in too. Don't no luck, come back tomorrow. Can I have a sugar figure? You still have so much sugar here. 
Uh, rude. I see they are allowing all sorts of idiots into the ghost market now. I'm in a bad mood today. You don't want to argue with me. My shop only sells five sugar works a day. No more. Now leave. Only five? Of course, this isn't just sugar. This is art. True art is only precious because it's hard to come by. Uh, plebeians in the ghost market know nothing about respecting real art. See the guy over there? Ever since he moved here, he's been shouting, place your bets, don't stop. It's distracting, he's clearly trying to sabotage my artistic process. Can you just make another sugar figurine? A matter of life and death. David, everyone here has been through life and death. Someone, I didn't want to get trampled by a horse while boiling sugar in the street, but I didn't have any say in the matter, did I? How was that saying again? Everyone has their own fate. Just name the terms, what would it take for you to make another sugar figurine? <clears throat> rules are rules, but the greatest artists always break the rules. For example, the great artist Tang Wu once. Get to the point. Get rid of that guy if you can. Get that noisy scan out of my sight, surely my inspiration will return. Then I would definitely make a masterpiece. Okay, so we are gonna go and do this. Sounds so. Uh... Somebody go and make haste. A <laughs> favor to ask. If I win, I don't need any money. I just have a small request. Oh, and what is that? Here's the thing. Okay, done deal. If you win, I pack up shop and get out of here. Sounds good. If you lose, nothing special. As long as you bring in the paper gold, I'll play all night. Fair enough. Sounds good. Okay. All right, little guy, one paper gold ingot gets you five chips. Let's place a chip on big or small and I roll the dice. Okay, so how the heck are we gonna do this then? No shit, let's place your bets and see you Lady Luck favors. All right, let's get started. Okay, we need another... Uh, Okay. So through you little scam. Oh, don't tell me, little guy. I'll do anything you ask. Get a deal. Just pack up and leave. No problem, little guy. I'll stop packing now. And um, see paper gold. I can keep it then. Sure. Oh, thanks, kid. You're a really straight shooter. I'm leaving now. To save this artist, so I can embrace inspiration with crap once again. Please accept my thanks. This is the art of gift giving. Excuse me, I want the sugar figurine too. Here we go. Wow, sugar figurine. 
Can we trade? But I don't have any money. I don't want money. I just need some of you here. Deal? That's easy. Deal. Okay. Okay, now we need to leave from here. We need to go up in the world. Right, what are you doing here? I need a bowl of your soup to save Young. What happened to Young? Is she okay? You know that this soup of mine only helps troubled souls to forget their past lives. It's surely, surely no life-saving remedy. If you're planning a ritual to save Young, it requires soul wine. That guy at the ghost market will only give it up in exchange for your soup. A ritual that needs a soul wine. This can't be good. Remember correctly, that really ritual also calls for an offering of someone's life. That, I know what I'm doing. Like you, please help me. The world still needs a rewinder. <sighs> I only have the recipe for forgetting, you know. There's no recipe for remembering you after this. What happens when Jan forgets about you? Who will help him then? My lady, I'm afraid that will no longer be my duty. What a mess. All right, all right. Take this. Thank you sincerely. Are you really sure? What, uh, what you of all people would understand, for the souls that you bridge isn't forgetting a form of liberation. No memory means no burden to bear. Trust me, if, uh, if he was to remember how everything happened, always carrying it on his shoulders for going forward, it's a painful existence. Get me no. here. What is that aroma? Bitter yet sweet, sour and spicy. All four tastes in one whiff. Mm, it's simply perfect. That is the famous Lady Main soup. You really got it for me. But the soul wine. Here you go. I'm a man of my word. That's one thing, though. Do you share this with anyone else? Don't say I made it. Fella, we seem to be close to the storytelling guy. Maybe you should ask him for more information. Hmm. So must be some other path I'm missing here somewhere. Oh. This way. Hmm.
What are we looking for to be here? Weird river. It's so different. But the town's talk to escape, right? Looking for? Faith and everyone should uh, else should be living over at Bamboo Brook, right? Oh, human down. And yes, my resentment are brutally strong here. No jail pendant here, I'm afraid nothing could have done held uh, held the Jaguar back. Can't be real. You save Jan, he will rewrite the history. Right, if we get everything in time, will Jan really come back? Yes, he must. What about you then? Don't worry about me. Before I leave, I will ask the spirit wardens to help you enter the reincarnation cycle again. Me? Enter the cycle? Like now? Yes, well, the original plan was to return you along with the other ghosts of Reed River Village after we had solved everything. But since we are already at this point, uh -huh. yeah, I guess you're right. What's the matter? Are you not ready to leave? It's fine too. You can wait until the gun is ready to take you. No, I'm just thinking. What about Young? When he wakes up, he'll have no companion. If you leave, Young will be really sad, right? He won't remember me. But being alone is sad, that much I know. If you have no companion, you can only play people alone and play games with yourself. It's really depressing. My dad used to say the only thing I needed in life was a paying audience. But now I know this is not true. I'm only truly happy playing people in the company of friends, like Faith or Young. Because we are the because we are companions? Yes, because we are companions. We don't have a lot of time, we should hurry and bring this venom back. I think move and get the venom. In. Wait, there we go. Yes. Back to the underworld we go. <laughs> Interesting, really found it. Hey, Biscuits, can I have it? I'm done, sweetheart, of course. Here we go, my most treasured item. Treat it gently. That's everything we need. Time to do this. Let's go take the boat back to Young's home. They should be ready for us. Let's begin. Thank you everyone for your help. Right? No, Jan is so proud to have a friend like you. 
Right, as soon as the ritual starts, John will lose all memories of you. He won't remember who you are. I know. I'm ready. Okay, I will commence the ritual now. Everyone take a step back. Right, when my staff hits the ground, you must kneel in position. The timing must be precise. Once the ritual starts, it will be impossible to intervene. Understood? Light. What are you doing? Get out of there! It's already begun. There is no way to stop. Why did you... Willow knows that you and young immortals, you will save more lives. The village awaits you. A waste of my life in a troop, you show me what true friendship looks like. Our journey together was the best time of my life. Please take my people with you so that I can still fight by your side. Good boy, Willow. Wait, I'm going to have my first performance tomorrow. No Willow performance. Oh. John, it's true. I never wanted you to follow my footsteps. Selfishly, I wanted to protect you. All too well, I knew the dangers of our calling. But nothing can change the fact that you are a rewinder now. You must not doubt yourself. But you all make mistakes. What's important is that you see through the mist and the lies. You will find the truth. You've already seen it. You just need another chance. I... Huh? Even so, it's too late now. Maybe not. What do you mean? It's time for you to return. Don't let us down. You must succeed for those who have supported and believed in you. Wait, what do you mean? Will we meet again? Perhaps. The path for Rewinder is a very curious one. If our reunion means your death, I would rather never see you again. Oh, Jan, you're awake. Right? You're okay? I was ambushed by Lu Wan and her um, young wife. I know. It was my fault. I failed to recognize her. Willow just... He... Willow? Yes, at the ritual he served in my place. What ritual? Who is Willow? Willow doesn't remember. He's a pain of ours, and he left us a gift. A magic pipa. Really? That's so nice. Can't be useful. Right, we need to find a way to stop Lu Wan now. And the giant spider too. Young, I can send you into that faithful memory once again. You only have one shot to correct your mistakes, so we're all counting on you. Leave it to me. Oh, we're doing this one again. fast forwarding this time so what we did last time here was that we made it so they broke the pendant which is an item that we need to
I paused the uh, events at the moment, so we are... Talking. What the heck was that BS about? So it's not that one. Um, injured a terrorist. No? He's too weak. Weird, oh, that one didn't, doesn't show up on a timeline that you have to go over here and talk to yourself or convince yourself. Kind of weird. Side of is a new thing. Mm -hmm. I trust you, really? Think your towels is weird. What do you mean? Wait, someone's looking up at the window. I'll lock us in. Because that's uh, what we had. We had somebody come through the window and break the uh, jade amulet last time. Yeah. That guy. everyone. Now we have changed the outcome of it that the Jade amulet didn't get destroyed. 